Hi, Karen Wells, Independent Sensory Consultant, Australia. My club order has arrived. So <clears throat> I did have a Sensi club uh, from last year, which I cancelled in December because I was on sick leave and decided that financially it was just a better idea all around. And um, this new club includes some discontinued items and uh, I think an item that was going to go into the Sensi Vault. Um, plus bring back my bars that I wanted a few more of. Um, I didn't actually get the consultant's um, bar, you know, bring back my bar kit. As a consultant, you're able to get a early access to a lot of the limited time offers and bring back my bar as one of them. I didn't get that because I was actually quite disappointed with the list of bring back my bars this last round. And decided, and again, it was a financial thing as well. Um, and also a storage thing. I have got a lot of wax and I need to be more particular, more selective with the bars that I do actually bring in my house. They need to be, you know, particularly uh, ones that I really want to try or absolute favourites that I know that I'll be very disappointed. And I know the last club had a couple of those in there. Um, but they'll come back, you know, quite often in the, in the four years that I've been in Sensi, I've seen bars come back two or three times. So I'm not worried about that. I'm sure there'll be new favorites coming up as well. And this time I don't always get a whiff box, but this time as my half price item, I decided to get a whiff box. So it's mainly wax. And the box smells absolutely wonderful and the whiff box and did I mention I was going to leave the opening of the whiff box to last so that if you've got one on order and haven't received it then your box will still be a surprise you can just shut this off before we get to that and I'll warn you okay so the wax this smells so nice we've been having fairly warm weather and it's, um, I don't know whether it's hit 30 degrees today, but we've been getting, you know, mid 30s uh, oh, frequently. Okay, so from the Easter collection, and then a few of them have actually started to melt. From the Easter collection, I've got Clementine Blossom, which is a, a lovely light floral. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll get any more of these because with the Scentsy Club, you can actually manipulate it in any way you like. Um, I can cancel this if I don't want to get any more of these bars. I can shift it around. This is actually a three monthly club. The thing that I'm unable to do is decrease the frequency. So you can get your Scentsy Club every month, every two months or three monthly. I've made this a three monthly club. What I can't do is I can't bring it forward and make it a two monthly club and I'm unable to make it a monthly club. If I was to want a club to come every month, I'm going to have to recreate another club, um, which is fine, but I, you know, I have enough wax, really. As I said, I need to be more selective with the, uh, the wax bars that I bring into my home. So that's Clementine Blossom from the Easter collection. I've got a Bring Back My Bar, which is perfect oatmeal. Now I've not tried this one before. This is um, a brand new fragrance to me. I got two. When I was going through the Bring Back My Bar list to order my the ones that I wanted, I must have missed this because I didn't actually see it. Okay, so it is overpowered by everything else I've got in here. Um, obviously, it's going to be a very light bar. Well, I, not obviously, but I imagine it's going to be a light bar. And I don't actually smell anything at all, which is fine. Um, even though it's quite oily and it has been sitting outside. Hmm, and see how it's quite juicy, sweaty. It is a new bar, which is really good. All the new all the categories are on the back of the new bar. Um, I would imagine that it's going to be a, a mixer. Okay. So 
that's two of those. Then I've got a discontinued item. So uh, every year or every six months, we get a new catalog. So in February, we actually get notified of the fragrances that are going to be discontinued for the up and coming catalog. And um, one of them was White Amber and Silk, which is one a fragrance that I really love. So I've ordered one of those. Have I ordered, only ordered one of those? Yeah, I think so ordered one of those white amber and silk um i'm actually this is really nice it's um quite like a <clears throat> it is a laundry scent but what they've done is and i think it's quite remarkable they've actually recreate the smell of a silk pillowcase or something like that so white amber and silk then we have got have i only got one of those no i've got oh no i've got well, there's two white ones with red, but they're two different ones. So a satin sheets, I've ordered um, another satin sheets, which is a really nice bedroom scent. I've ordered a snowberry, which is a berry tree scent. Um, this one was a bit of a sleeper for me. I'd had a, I don't know whether I got it from the clearance section or whether I actually had it from a friend slot from um, a sensi friend overseas but snowberry sat in my collection for a long time and then i thought well i better melt it and i love it really pleased that one came back um blackberry cheer is a favorite from a collection that came out in 2019 i think it was and uh, got one of those one of my favorite um blackberry scents i've got a Blonde Wood and Moonflower, and that's current Bring Back My Bar as well. And um, that's really nice. Some people are not liking it. I, you know, I do like it. I had tried it beforehand. A villain Vanilla Suede, which is also another favourite. A lovely brown wax. This is a nice, um, and it's actually a, a bedroom scent as well. A nice vanilla. It's a, a very rich vanilla. And I don't get the suede as in a, a leather type sm smell. It's just a really nice um, vanilla. And a vanilla waves, which again is a discontinued one in the catalogue. Are they normally that colour? I thought they were a bit more yellow. But anyway, maybe I'm just thinking of the cover there. Vanilla waves, which is um, salted caramel and vanilla. We've got a another scent that's actually being discontinued from the catalogue and that's stargazing dark blue and that sort of melts very easily that's actually that's what i can smell it's just leaked over everything because it does stargazing does that and that's a very rich it was a scent of the month mm, i think it was a couple of years ago was it 2021 anyway it was really nice and uh just thought I'd get another one that before it actually disappears. And the one that I hadn't tried, a Disney scent that I hadn't tried, which was a Snow White, it is Kind Heart. Lovely blue wax. And that came out with the, was it a Wishing Well for a Wishing Well Warmer, a Snow White? And I haven't actually smelt this. I don't even know what the scent notes are. I think they were quite nice. Disney scents, uh, you know, usually. Okay, very sweaty, as you can see. Mm, I've got stargazing all over my fingers. Maybe I should have left stargazing till last. Ah, okay. Has it got greenery in it? Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what it is. I should have looked up the notes. Hmm. Anyway, I'll look forward to putting that in the warmer and trying it. Um, I don't know whether I'll keep it in my club. It depends on how it performs, whether I like it. But it smells a bit green on the other. And generally, greenery, especially if it's mushed up flower stems, you know, like, what do they call them? Macerated? Hmm. Anyway. Something new to try, Snow White, Kind Heart, and I'll throw those back in. Now, I'm about to open the Whiff Box. So, 
if you're not interested in the contents. And this is for Region 3, Australia and New Zealand. Um, I think basically they're the same, just the, the products are slightly different. I think the contents are basically the same. Sometimes the um, fragrances and designs can change. It's quite exciting. As I said, I haven't had a whiff box for a very long time. It is in, in the new eco-friendly box. It's a nice solid box. Oh, so solid, I can't get into it. Here we go. Yes, here we go. And it's got this, bring the garden mood indoors to embrace the joy of lush botanicals, no matter the weather, lush botanicals. From, for your February whiff box, we have handpicked a mini warmer and a variety of products in fragrance, reminiscence of garden sunshine, fruits and florals. Well, that's very nice, very nice. Okay, good on. Two full wax bars. The first one is uh, raspberry hibiscus tea, which is a current, uh, it's a new release for the autumn winter 2023 catalog. Full bar of that. Oh, there's no scent pot for the next month. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I was sort of hoping I'd get a sneak peek, but anyway. And I've got a cotton cleaner. Love cotton cleanups. They make cleaning out your warmers so much easier. I always make sure that I've got plenty on hand. I do like um, cotton balls, but for convenience in a normal, you know, the normal size 25 watt or even the um, element warmers, I find the cotton cleanups make so much easier. They've got a little handle on them. You can do, I can do at least three full size warmers. Get the wax out of that. Wax. Then we have a Tropic Nectar, another new release. Lovely red wax. We have a Travel Twist and it's in Go Go Mango. And this is a something that you can put in small spaces. It has, it's a little um, plastic um, container. It's got the fragrance in the stars. You just open it up to the amount that you actually want. Oh, there we go. And inside you have a material that's soaked in the fragrance. Ah, oh, stargazing's on everything, guys. Mmm, okay. Well, I can smell the mango. And uh, open it and close it. Open it when you want the fragrance and close it. Or you can have it just to open a little bit and maybe pop it in a cupboard or a drawer or in a bag. Mmm, very nice. Very handy. Take it with you. Go, go, mango. Travel twist. I have a washer whiffs in Luna. Love this. You can either use this yourself or give it away. Um, and there's lots of paper. Our mini warmers come with a separate plug. It's not in the same box. It's a separate plug. And then what mini warmer do we have? So this is really good value box. It is, oh, an alabaster. So there you go. It's a little white warmer. So it'll go with everything. It's, if you wish to give it away, it will be ideal as a gift um, because it'll go well with any decor. Okay, so be a star, big enough that others can wish upon you. Orville. Very nice, lovely little saying. We've got some washers um, that you use on the base to make sure that it all fits snugly together. Doesn't rattle around and spill your wax. There we go. It is lovely. Good value box because 
our mini warmers are 35 I think a 35 two full bars at $10 each so 35 45 55 a travel twist which is 12 which makes it 67 and uh, you can't really say anything about the cotton cleaner or the wash whisk. That's just an extra bonus. So there you go. It was $50 plus postage, except I got mine at 25%, like 50% off. So it's only like, what's that, less than 35. It's less than the amount it would have been if I bought the mini warmer. So that's great. I don't need any more mini warmers, but it'll certainly be a lovely gift because it is a lovely little warmer. So there you go. My Scentsy Club. Please like and subscribe. I'll put all my details below if you're looking for an Australian consultant and keep each other safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.